Welcome to Easy Learning with Ranch. Friends, today we are going to learn standard fifth EVS one motions of Earth. Extra questions. So let's start. Question number one. Fill in the blanks. One. The imaginary line around which the Earth rotates is called its dash dash. Answer is axis of rotation. Two. The imaginary line that divides the Earth into two equal parts is called the dash dash. Answer is equator. Three. The Earth rotates from dash dash. Answer is west to east. Four. We divide the whole day into dash dash parts. Answer is twenty four. Five. The Earth completes one dash dash. It makes one complete turn around itself. Answer is rotation. Six. The period of time that the Earth takes to complete one rotation is called a dash dash. Answer is day. Seven. We divide the whole day into twenty four parts, each of which is called a dash dash. Answer is hour. Eight. The Earth dash dash is inclined. Answer is axis. Nine. There are about dash dash days and six hours in a year. Answer is three sixty five. Ten. The dash dash revolves around the Earth, and the Earth revolves around the Sun. Answer is moon. Eleven. We can see the moon because of the dash dash light which falls on it. Answer is suns. Twelve. On a full moon night, we see the entire dash dash of the moon that faces the earth. Answer is side. Thirteen. A leap year has dash dash days. Answer is three sixty six. Fourteen. The moon has no dash dash of its own. Answer is light. Fifteen. It takes dash dash days from the new moon to the full moon. Answer is fourteen or fifteen. Sixteen. The period from one new moon to the next is called the dash dash month. Answer is lunar. Seventeen. From the Earth we see only dash dash side of the moon. Answer is one. Eighteen. The fortnight from new moon to full moon is called dash dash of the moon. Answer is waxing. Nineteen. The fortnight from the full moon to the new moon is called the dash dash of the moon. Answer is waning. Twenty. Many of our festivals are connected with dash dash. Answer is seasons. Twenty one. The revolution of the earth and the inclination of its axis give rise to the cycle of dash dash. Answer is seasons. Twenty two. Every day of the lunar month is called a dash dash. Answer is tithi. Twenty three. A day has two parts. Day and dash dash. Answer is night. Question number two. Name the following. A. The period of time that the Earth takes to complete one rotation. Answer a day. B. The period of time the Earth takes to complete one revolution. Answer one year. C. Three main seasons in India. Answer. Summer, rainy, and winter. D. Number of days in a leap year. Answer three sixty six. E. Every day of the lunar month. Answer a tithi. F. The cycle of six seasons. Answer Ritu Chakra. G. Two parts of a day. Answer day time and night time. Question number three. Answer the following in one sentence. One. What is a day? Answer. The period of time that the Earth takes to complete one rotation is called a day. That is twenty-four hours. Two. What is the duration of a year? Answer. There are about three sixty-five days and six hours in a year. Three. What causes the cycle of season? Answer. The revolution of the Earth and the inclination of its axis given rise to the cycle of seasons. Four. What is the rotation of the Earth? Answer. The movement of the Earth around itself is called rotation of the Earth. Five. What is the equator of the Earth? Answer. The imaginary line that divides the Earth into two equal parts, that is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, is called the equator of the Earth. Six. In which direction does the Earth rotate? 
and sir, the earth rotates from west to east. 7. What is the revolution of the earth? Answer. The movement of the earth around the sun in one year is called the revolution of the earth. 8. What is axis of rotation? Answer. The imaginary line around which the earth rotates is called its axis of rotation. It is an imaginary line between the north pole and south pole. 9. Into how many parts is the day divided? Answer. The day is divided into two parts. That is day and night. 10. Into how many hours is the day divided? Answer. The day is divided into 24 hours. 11. Around whom does the moon revolve? Answer. The moon revolves around the earth. 12. What is Tithi? Answer. Every day of the lunar month is called a Tithi. 13. What is lunar month? Answer. The period from one new moon to the next is of 28 to 30 days. It is called the lunar month. 14. What is vaccine of the moon? Answer. The moon takes a fortnight to move from new moon to full moon. This period of time is known as waxing of the moon. 15. What is waning of the moon? Answer. The moon takes a fortnight to move from a full moon to new moon. This period of time is known as waning of the moon. Question number 4. Answer briefly. 1. Explain phases of the moon. Answer. From the full moon to the new moon, the illuminated part of the moon seen from the earth becomes smaller and smaller. From new moon to full moon, the illuminated part of the moon grows bigger and bigger. These different shapes of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon. Write short note on leap year. Answer. In the Gregorian calendar, the year has 365 days. It counts 6 hours less every year. That makes 24 hours or 1 day in every 4 years. This extra day is added in the 4th year in the month of February. That year will have 366 days. That year is called a leap year. 3. What are the effects of the rotation and the revolution of the earth? Answer. The rotation of the earth gives rise to day and night. The revolution of the earth and the inclination of its axis give rise to the cycle of seasons. Question number 5. What is meant by each of the following terms? A. Vaccine moon. Answer. The fortnight from the new moon to full moon which is 14 to 15 days is called vaccine moon. Here the moon seems to become bigger and bigger. That is it waxes. B. Waning moon. Answer the fortnight from full moon to new moon which takes 14 to 15 days is called the waning moon. Here the moon seems to become smaller and smaller. That is it wanes. Question number 6. Give geographical reason. 1. The sun, the moon and the earth are not always along a straight line. Answer. The moon revolves around the earth. The earth revolves around the sun. These two orbits intersect. Hence, the sun, the moon and the earth are not always along a straight line. 2. From 22 March to 23 September, Northern Hemisphere experience summer and Southern Hemisphere experience winter. Answer. From 22 March to 23 September, the days are longer than the night in the Northern Hemisphere. It is warmer here. So, it is summer. However, at this time, Southern Hemisphere nights are longer than the days. So, it receives less heat. Therefore, Southern Hemisphere experiences winter. 3. We see phases of the moon. Answer. From the full moon to the new moon, the illuminated part of the moon seen from the earth becomes smaller and smaller. From new moon to full moon, it again grows bigger and bigger. Therefore, we see phases of the moon. 4. The length of day and night is not always equal. 
I'm sure the length of day and night is not always equal because of the Earth's inclined axis, its revolution around the sun. So friends, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you friends and bye bye.